morning. Hello everybody. I am Narsiman Swaminathan, a faculty in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at IIT Madras. Uh, welcome to this course on Foundations of Computational Materials Modeling. Um, I just want to provide a few, uh, a few uh, uh, points that will actually help you understand what this course is actually about. Um, this course is about Computational Materials Modeling. Basically, what we want to do is we want to understand how to build crystal structures on the computer and then use these crystal structures in order to perform some simple molecular dynamics simulations. In order to do this, we will need three aspects. Firstly, we need to understand how to infer the, um, the manner in which crystals are actually specified using their space groups specifically. And then we will understand some foundations associated with the statistical mechanics because that is the that is that is what forms the basis of molecular dynamics simulations and then we will uh, perform some simple molecular dynamics simulations using lamps um, so you will have to actually uh, download the lamps software onto your computer or laptop in order to uh, successfully uh, understand the contents of this course you will also need to know some matlab programming in order to generate uh, various crystal structures and understand how these are actually being uh, generated uh, for various purposes. Uh, the uh, course will generally consist of uh, 12 assignments uh, which will have um, several different kinds of questions uh, and uh, they, are, they all should be somewhat simple to do once you have actually gone through the uh, lectures and it will consist of one uh, so one examination in the middle of the semester and one final examination. Um, you will uh, the the assignments will involve true or false questions, fill in the blanks questions, and uh, some of which you may be able to answer just by looking at the slides. Some of which you may actually have to think a little bit um, and um, have a deeper understanding of the subject to answer. Uh, either ways, I do hope that you enjoy this course. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to uh, ask me. Thank you very much.